When the going gets tough, the tough get going. Only during the dark stages of life and suffering, that we find out who we really are. It is not how many times life pushes you down, but how many times you pull yourself up again that actually defines us and makes us who we are. Similarly, for a man named Mario Panthungawelu, life took an extremely cruel turn when he was a child. However, he refused to surrender to life and challenged himself to face every single hurdle life threw at him with the nerves of steel. His life is a story of sheer willpower and determination and it is one that is worth knowing. In today's video, that's exactly what we are gonna do. And without further ado, let's begin the video. Our journey begins on 28th of June 1995 in a remote and off-the-map village named Periavudagumputi in the district of Salem in Tamil Nadu where Thungawelu and Sergio gave birth to a beautiful boy whom they named Mariuppan. But he was not alone. He had four brothers and a sister. But unfortunately, they belonged to an economically low-income family and their earnings could not suffice the needs of six children. To add fuel to the fire, his father had reportedly left the family early on due to family issues, and their uneducated mother took responsibility of working day in and day out to feed their children. She did various jobs ranging from working as a laborer who carried bricks to becoming a vegetable seller, which all earned her 100 rupees a day which is barely more than a dollar. Imagine having to feed six children and herself with just one dollar a day. This isn't something ordinary. Mariupin grew up watching his mother toil from dawn to dusk and some of her qualities got instilled in him as well. He joined a government school and dreamed of becoming a successful man someday. But despite their economic status, all six children too used to enjoy playing local games of their village. The same was with the case of Mariupin too before he turned five. He used to wander happily through their village having fun in running, jumping, getting drenched in rain and doing everything a normal child would do. But only till the age of five. Asking me what happened at his age of five? When Mariupin was walking back home from school one day, when he was hit by a huge vehicle driven by a drunkard. The driver was so drunk that he failed to notice Mariupin walking ahead of him by the side of the road. He lost control, and the unimaginable happened. The vehicle went over Mariupin's tender legs and crushed them below his knees. The scene was covered in blood, tears and nervousness. As a five-year-old kid cried out in pain, he saw his dreams shatter. It was the darkest hour of his life and Mariupin knew that it would change his life forever for the worse. Mariupin was immediately taken to the nearest hospital, where the doctors informed that his condition was quite critical. Mariupin's life was on its tender hooks. One drunk man's carelessness had destroyed an innocent life in the blink of an eye. But one person who was the most affected by it was Mary Oppen's mom. She underwent a lot of mental turmoil since she was desperate to save the life of her son. A lot of expensive surgeries and treatment has to be undergone to bring Mary Oppen back to his normal state. But the poor woman could not find so much money. Still she could not stand to see her son withering in pain. When she failed to gather the required amount, his mom took a loan of three lakhs in order to pay for his treatment. Sadly, the doctors could not do much as the damage on his right leg was permanent. Mary Apantangavelu was left with a permanent disability and stunted right leg. It would forever retain the shape and structure of a five-year-old's leg and every single day, it would remind Mariupin of the tragedy that had changed his life forever. The dreams and aspirations of the young boy were shattered and he had also plunged his family into further crisis due to the loan that they had to pay off now. There was every reason for him to go into depression and lose his way or even commit suicide. However, the boy who had seen his mother strive against miseries from a very young age was not about to give up on his life. He was determined to face his adversities head on and his battle had just started. So, Mary Yuppin did not let his disability bring him down or isolated. He did not feel any different from the other able-bodied students in the school and never felt pity on himself. 
Despite the fact that he had been overlaid with tragedies, he still had a very positive outlook towards life. He also worked extremely hard at his school to earn good grades and completed his senior secondary education. But apart from studies, his school provided him a platform to discover his love and passion for a sport named volleyball. Though Mariupin craved to play the game, his legs provided him a barrier to the game as he was not able to match up to the physical aspect of the game. Or rather, he was not able to match up with his mates. Still that did not bring down his interest in the game as he used to be a spectator and watch his friends play from the sidelines, encouraging and cheering for his friends and lived the sport as a fan. After the matches, he would try his hand on the game during practice, but had a problem balancing himself and positioning himself. However, he had a splendid jump while smashing the ball. This jump of his was noticed by his school sports teacher, who asked Mariupin to try his hand in a new sport named high jump. But never did he know then that he had changed Mariupin's life altogether. Mariupin had found his flair in high jumps as he was able to perform brilliantly in the sport. He was so great in the sport that he was able to defeat it even able-bodied athletes in practice. It was clear that the young boy had a great future in the sport and hence prepared to take part in the National Para-Athletics Championship to find a platform to showcase his skills. It was here that his skill was spotted by a coach named Suthya Narwina in 2013. Suthya Narwina was filled with astonishment on seeing the brilliance of Mari Uppen in front of him and immediately knew that Mari Uppen was destined to reach great heights in the sport. Mari Uppen was taken to Bangalore where he was introduced to world-class training facilities. As told by his coach Sathya Narayana, Mariupin was a confident and disciplined kid. This trait was imprinted into him by the virtue of watching his mom's dedication at times of adversities. This had instilled a hunger for success within him and he strived hard to achieve his goals. With the right people to guide him in his endeavors, Mariupin Tonkavelu went from strength to strength and became an expert in the high jump in no time. He had a determination made of steel and there was no stopping him now. With just one and a half years of practice, the young boy lit up the national as well as the international circuit and became the world number one in 2015. It was a fantastic achievement for the youngster, but there was more to come from him soon. And it did in the very next year in the biggest stage of sporting. It was the 2016 Rio Olympics and Paralympics. Mariupin participated in the 15th edition of Summer Paralympic Games which was also the second most attended Paralympic Games in history. For Mariupin Tonkavelu, it was a big step from a small village in Tambal Nadu to just attend the grand stage of the Paralympics. His journey to the prestigious event began in March 2016 where he qualified for the Paralympics by clearing a height of 1.78 meters in the Olympic qualifiers held at IPC Grand Prix in Tunisia and hence became a part of the Indian contingent that flew to Brazil to take part in the tournament. Days passed swiftly and the date was September 16, the date that would declare the winners of the 2016 Paralympic high jump event. Mariupin had trained all his life for that moment. He was focused and set his eyes for the big prize. Mariupin has cleared a distance of 1.89 meters and clinched a historic gold medal for India. On this event at the moment, nothing else going on in the stadium except this high jump. Ice over! Tagarello at 189 jumps into gold medal position. A beautiful clearance. So Mariapa and Tangavelu gives a modest wave to the crowd that's still here at the engine hour. He's from Bangalore, he's 21, and he's a Paralympic champion. This was a huge achievement, as he was only the third Indian to win a gold in the prestigious event. His great win brought him a lot of attention in the national as well as at the international level. He had become a big star overnight and a lot of people, including the Prime Minister of India took to the social media to congratulate him. India had won a Paralympics gold medal after 14 years and it was a time to celebrate. He was given a hero's welcome when he reached his hometown in Tamil Nadu. Along with the award and the recognition, 
Maryapan also had won a lot of prize money and accolades as a reward. But instead of spending it on worldly pleasures, he decided to use the amount on something worthful. When he remembered the hardship that his mom had endured all her life and it was her struggle that had shaped up his destiny and it was time to ensure that she did not have to worry about making ends meet. Hence, Maryapan used a portion of his prize money to buy his mother a paddy field and a new house. It was his own way to express his gratitude to the woman who had made him into the champion that the world knew. He was lauded by several celebrities online. He also received the highest sporting honor of India, Rajiv Gandhi Kel Rathna in 2020, the fourth highest Indian national honor namely the Padma Shri in 2017 and the second highest Indian sporting honor namely the Arjuna Award in the same year, as a recognition for his excellent service to sports in the country. Even the god of cricket, Sachin Tendulkar was extremely impressed with Maryapan after his Rio feed that he started a sports fund for him. For the man, it was a moment to savor, to enjoy, and to cherish. His years of hard work, the blessing of his mother and her steely determination had taken him to his goal. Maryapan was in seventh heaven and rightly so. From the crushing accident as a five-year-old to the memorable day in Rio, his life had been nothing short of a fairy tale. This motivational life story is planned to come soon on the silver screen as it is going to be made into a biographical sports drama movie named Maryapan. The movie is currently under production. It is being directed by Aishwarya Danush and Danush is expected to play Maryapan's role. Maryapan himself is very excited about the project and has openly spoken about the inspirational effect of films in the lives of budding sportsmen. He is hopeful that the movie depicting his life will be successful in motivating thousands of youngsters around the country to embrace sports. He is now busy preparing for the Tokyo Paralympic Games which is a month away. Since his Rio Paralympics gold, he has grown leaps and bounds in stature and thus we can be sure that Maryapan is up for a big fight and will be desperate to get his hands on the coveted gold once again and bring further glory to his country. In the end, Maryapan's life is no less than inspiration itself. It is a powerful depiction of hope and positivity. For a helpless teenager who had just lost his leg, life could have easily come to an end. However, it was the fight in him that is worth learning from. Maryapin never gave up on life and became the master of his own destiny. This is the biggest lesson that Maryapin Tangavelu can give to the budding athletes in the country and for that reason alone, he is a hero. With the wish that he reaches great heights once again in the Tokyo Paralympics once again, I would like to end this video. I will see you in another video. Till then goodbye.